What is up, everybody? Welcome back to I Got You Pegged. Let me find out you the one that messed it up in the first place. I mean, hey, if it happened again, we just going to hop up off of here and go to Zoom. That's all it is. We're going to have to try that. Anyway, but introduction. We back. We back, y'all. It's I Got You Pegged. <laughs> It's your boy, Dez. I don't even have an AKA this week because that's just what type of week it has been. Oh, Uh, damn. uh, Yeah, I know. I know. I know, right? I know. It's it's just, it is that. So, we also have the lovely Simone Sky with us. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Gorgeous as ever. Simone, Simone, let me tell you, every week, Des has a different nickname for himself. The last mm-hmm. one was uh, Discovery and Desi. Mm-hmm. That was the last yes, one. Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. yes. I just started Discovery. What kind of week you have it's in for that? It, I, I'm good on that, but it's about to be a real thought boy summer out here, okay? I'm about to throw, I know throw that's summer right. everything everywhere. You got your hoochie daddy shorts ready? Apparently not. Because, me. That's his name, because, because me. the ones that I posted on my Instagram we're this not short enough. Here, Dr. Leela said that they just were not short enough. And then they're, they're not short enough. Out. She told me they got to split it up a little bit. Inches. Split it. I, uh, like, split I'm it all, up. listen, and I'll be bike riding. And so, like, everything. And I just, like, I can't be, like, all like that out here because almost slippage. Like, we can't have all of that. You put on some mantis that fit right. And then you bring That's them up. Right. Get you some mantis. Five inch inseam, little something like. An almost doesn't count, according oh, to that girl I'm you like just, listening right. to. Wow, I guess uh, I guess I said I've, I wanted to be slutted out enough. I guess it's starting to happen. Oh. It's time. You have to leave <laughs> know, the know You have to be, manifest didn't it. Didn't know it's going to be here, right here, right now. So you're going to accept that your nickname is Thymy? We're not doing this. Can y'all please introduce yourselves? I'm not doing this with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to get a shirt to say Thymy. God oh, damn it. I, I knew you. You got to put a period at the end of it. <laughs> Introduce yourselves, please. My name is Dr. Leela Ellis Nelson, captain of Five Meat Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Will, the producer. Simple as that. We getting that thigh meat shirt. That's going to be the next merch. Thigh meat, mm-hmm. period. And it's just got to be Dez from like the bell button down with like this the is, orange shirt on that come up. This is abuse. This is, I, I, this is documented. It is It is recording right now. This is abuse. <laughs> I don't have to take it. I will be this calling my lawyer. Asked, right? <sighs> well, you know what? I, I, think, yeah, I, think I, I think I asked for too much. I think I asked for too much. We are celebrating the <laughs> We are celebrating. You off more than you, than you could chew? <laughs> I cannot. I'm not doing this. Welcome to I Got You Pet, <laughs> Mr. Moe Sky. Thank you so Thank much you for coming me. by. She said that she was going to come by, and we're going to do the whole episode with her. So oh, it's about to be a episode. good one. So before we, we even get into everything, how are you? How has your week been? How is life treating you? I am abundantly blessed. Like, come on. I'm going to complain. Okay. I'm going to complain. And that's okay, because you can <laughs> okay, listen, listen, let the blessings fall. Receive them Man. as they come. <laughs> it's been a crazy ass right. few years, and then things are starting to kind of balance out a little bit. All right. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Y'all, ever have, y'all have phases where shit like goes too smooth, and it's like, listen, <laughs> it'd be too <laughs> stressful. <laughs> you mean I'm leaving without an incident? Absolutely not. Something has to break around here because it's going to be me. Mm-mm. And I be trying to change my mind because I'm like, I be like, this is kind of smooth. What's about to happen? And I'm like, no, no. Because if I think about something happening, something's going to happen. Right. So now even when stuff kind of goes awry or it's not particularly what I want, I'm like, well, shit, it's a blessing anyway. Just one for me. Mm. Did it just do it again? For yeah. A second? yeah. And I figured yeah. out what it was. I figured out what it was. It's my, you, is what it? Huh? My phone was touching the cord. Oh, Desmond. Desmond! I did not realize that, and I do apologize. We will continue though. Was it bad, Harry. Okay. Desmond? Let's keep it. Real. I was sorry. It was me. It was me. I just, I was like, what just happened? And my phone literally was like touching the cord, so I moved it back. I do apologize. Okay, all right, Desmond. 
Okay. My bad. My bad. I'll edit my bad. this out. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> no, I'll leave it in there so y'all can know how yeah. he be impacting our lives. <laughs> for, 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 Nigga, for real. So I'm the problem, y'all. Uh, it's me. I'm the problem. Literally. I'm, the I'm problem. glad we have some acceptance on your part. You have accountability. That's okay. That's a good Shit. How do you? Shit. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll just say, you can't I'll win if you ain't right within. So we just got to, you know, <laughs> get you together. Wow. wow. This is just so a, can get no your friend, move, just a little bit of spit, huh? Y'all just gonna, y'all just gonna raw dog me right Pray now. It. <laughs> you know what? Let's get into this episode. Let's get into this episode. Then. <laughs> Let's get to our foolery, which is. What killed phone sex, or is it still alive? Okay, so <laughs> I feel like people like imagination because you don't have to have imagination now. You just get online and you scroll, you do and scroll everything. So the sex appeal or the allure of phone sex was that you use your imagination. Now I just, I mean, guilty. I just hop on Twitter. My pussy on Twitter. Hop on Twitter. You want some pussy? You see. <laughs> <laughs> It's right there. You don't need no imagination. And then on top of that, one of the things that I noticed before I even jumped into sex work, I was like, where's the sex appeal? Mm. Like, I see a lot of naked bodies, but there's no, like, sex appeal. So phone sex, you have to have a certain, you know what I'm saying? Right, that vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the the voice, the mannerisms or whatever, now we just got TikTok culture, so that's not sexy. So... My reaction is because yes, what was it? Yesterday, today, I was at work and there was a TED talk about how imagination is, or your imagination and your brain are like the biggest and best sex organ and how imagination Mm -hmm. is lacking in sex, which is causing for a lot of like relationship issues and just like issues down the line in general right now and i was like dang that is really really true like you can find anything you want on the internet the deepest Mm. darkest corners like you can find the most random thing anyone's you know random kink of whatever you can find it Mm -hmm. and you can always have it to be visual and it's like I feel like phone sex was about like sometimes character play and stuff too. Like there was more to mm-hmm. it. Was. it was, we felt that when we stopped, when people stopped going to hotels to try to pick up their boo, pretending to be strangers, and one was like a hooker, <laughs> and one was a flight attendant, or like the pilot that was in Sarasota for the weekend. Like that's where we really fucked up because we lost Why that sense. Sarasota. Of I don't know. It was just in my head. I've been looking at flights for the last two days straight, <laughs> trying to figure out how I'm gonna get from here to Greece on like fifteen dollars. Stay so a whole... the fuck away from Sarasota. I used oh. to live there. Stay What's away. Sarasota? Now uh, you got me stressed out. I don't understand. Yeah, that's for after the episode. We can talk about the stay away from Sarasota. Okay. Let me explain to y'all how I taught my mother about a new kink, and I regret every part of it. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Went to one of my goodest friends' uh, birthday weekend extravaganza. And I don't know what part of it, because it was every day was a different thing. So at this point, every day blended together into one day. But at some point, we learned that there is a kink where you can make tens of thousands of dollars a month by smashing your face into bread. And that's the whole <laughs> small space. Like, yep, mm, I know about so it. So when you snatch your face into bread, you just do that and you just need like a five second video and that can generate like tens of thousands of dollars. I explained this to my mother. Remember, this is the same woman I had to explain to y'all that I accidentally had to explain to her what scissoring was because one of my other best friends talks too damn much and they knew she was on the phone and could hear everything we was talking about. Then they started laughing. But either way, So my mom says she's willing to be anybody's OnlyFans managers if you teach her how to internet (laughs) so that she can put your bread videos up. I just felt y'all So I just wanted to put that out there because we was talking about how now you don't need no imagination. My mom says she's going to have enough imagination if you teach her how to internet and she'll post your bread videos for you. (laughs) Okay, so I have a thought. (laughs) Please, you you first, you first, yes. Okay, 
you know, back in the gap, everybody's been kinky as hell, freaky yeah. as hell since the beginning of time. That just is what it is. But have you guys noticed that the kinks and fetishes are becoming more, I want to say random, but it's just like, how do you know the two? Even that was literally my question in the pizza parlor. That's where we were. You know what I'm saying? So you have to have some imagination. You just be sitting there like, I'm mad horny. I need to see somebody put their face in some How do you learn? Like, that's your thing. How do you figure out that you like that? Is somebody like, was it like those old infomercials where people used to be walking and go, no. I slipped on a banana and fell on some bread. Now I'm feeling Right. Like <laughs> and it's like, we want you to have your kink. We want you to have your thing. But please explain to me how you got there. Like, I need to know the etiology of your kink. But most people don't know why they have the kinks that they have. So I'm just like, what What was the moment? I want to know the moment that you realize. We need to like, get to the root of it, the pathology shit. of where it comes from. I want to unpack so two That's things. my problem. I want to know two So two like. things. One, I also just want to remind people that this is also the same mother that had Leela walking around Exotica with, <laughs> uh, on FaceTime. <laughs> Because she wanted to see and her, her husband. husband. My daddy true had me do it. Story. He made true me story. go around true three story. times. True story. True. This is like no, that's so right. Just want to say that. But then also, this goes right along. It's so stressful, with y'all. Friend, and will be here all weekend with the friend of a friend that literally, like back in the day, OnlyFans has been doing like sexy cake smashing for Wall Street, like. Mil- multi-millionaires and lightweight low billionaires and shit like you guys are gonna i'm gonna go buy a fucking cake, just buy a cake. Oh, no no no, no they buy you the cake it's gotta be buy the cake. It has they to be cake that they want, I don't know they the want you that's it. so yeah oh to start it off i don't know yeah, the cake okay. so, yeah, so yeah i gotta, gotta kick start. it off okay so you go get the cake make it say something cute or whatever get, you know you start it off and like first you know you taste it or whatever and then you just end up you know slowly rubbing it and whatever else and then you destroy it and you're all cake that's the first that's like your your come up on it and then they start ordering hold on they start ordering you and sending you these lavish ridiculous cakes and they send them to you and then you Um, also get paid to destroy these like ridiculous cakes immaculate Mm -hmm. cakes go ahead i have two questions the first question Um, is but can they send me a second cake so i can actually eat it and then type shit I'm sure that you could tell them also send, is, me, we send, don't waste me, send me a cake top or of it too. like Or a cupcake at a minimum. Send me a cupcake, mm-hmm. cupcake. Just give me now that see, little, now little four inch. Now here's the thing. Us being us, Leela, you could actually get in on this and also like incorporate you baking the cake before destroying it. And I it's too long to do all of this. <laughs> I can't do all of this. They love them mm. though. They got you put a little apron on, and you put them up out to the side for them. Listen, no, we I'm are sitting to... on billion dollar ideas, okay? My I'm triple D's saying. was up here, and okay. then I breastfed for 20 minutes, and now they down by my kneecaps. Okay, it's a so, whole thing. So y'all say that. Can, that. Y'all say that. Y'all, can I ask my other question real quick? Don't y'all like? currently feel cold buttercream on y'all and it's annoying the hell out of you like the grease of buttercream on your body i can literally feel that and it's giving me anxiety so we were talking about okay. imagination y'all got a whole bunch of imagination <laughs> okay. we're not the ones lacking imagination Society in general. <laughs> but let's bring it back to the original. My bad, my bad. Of uh, phone sex. I think that it's just evolved into the FaceTime and the, you know, the, like, mm-hmm. you know, and also you have to throw in uh, sexting too in the app. Right. So there is stuff like, like Sex Panther and stuff. You can, mm-hmm. you can do that. Um, sometimes I'm only fans. I'll sex mm-hmm. a little bit, but. I be getting tired, so you won't have to catch me when you catch me. I don't like to talk. Um, I do FaceTime shows sometimes. And one of the things that I realized is it's not so much kink stuff, which I don't know if you guys know, but I used to be a dominatrix. So I like kinky oh, ass yes. shit. Oh, but <laughs> not- Desmond? Yes! Oh. Desmond? 
Now, uh, Desmond, who, who, who said that? Who said that they were that they would marry Simone? I just want you to remember that now. Okay. Huh? Nothing. You can't fall in love with this one now. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. No. Wow, what happened? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so Desmond, Fill me in. Desmond has a problem of falling in love with our guests. All it's the Capricorn it. in me. What can I say, damn it? Okay. You're the Capricorn yeah. too. And See, when we had we... when we had a discussion, who would marry who? I picked you. Desmond I hadn't met her. Aww. I hadn't met you yet. Uh-huh. Desmond? Right, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Simone, keep going. They'll be here all day. <laughs> Sorry. Real. Okay, so, so sexting is not totally dead, but I feel like there's a specific niche and market for it. So, like, the people who get on Sex Panther who want the engagement and stuff, like, people now... We sell our phone numbers and stuff like that, but they don't want to like they, they don't sex. Mm. They just kind of like buy a number and then trickle off. Mm. Mm. Really? Uh, Maybe it was just more like I was talking to somebody else about that. Like it's more it's not about like what you do after the number. It's just about getting getting it. Having it. Yeah, they want the yeah. access. They want the opportunity right. to have access, which I understand. And they don't know um, do after. But yeah, that. like Yeah. No, no. <laughs> like sometimes it's general conversation, and then like I said with me, because I used to do allotments, like it would be a three month subscription to have mm. my number. But I'm like, I don't be feeling like talking, so y'all got it. But they kind of right. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and then with the the FaceTime calls, people really just want to get to know me as a person. Mm-hmm. Mm. I was I was about to ask like, like what mm-hmm. what what is that like like what right. is, like mm. yeah so of course I have some people who want an actual like grown up mm-hmm. show but I've had other people they call me and they just want to sit and chat I'm like so you don't want <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. You know, whatever works for you, but I'm not going to be over here trying to force my titties out. Like, if you want to just get to know me, you can get to know me. And this is at a time where I wasn't going live because Instagram had banned me on live for like four months. So people wanted Mm. to talk to me again and have access to me so they would book FaceTime shows. And now I just, I don't accept them. Mm. I don't accept FaceTime shows now. Um, Mm. But back, back to phone sex. I feel like the imagination, um, social skills are not there anymore. So people don't even really know how to talk right. to people for real. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. And then when it comes to sexuality, it's such a taboo that people don't want to tap into it. They kind of want to watch it in their own, mm-hmm. at their own discretion. Mm-hmm. So like when I was a dom, I mean, I've, I still have a lot of people who supported me when I was doing that and they know that I have a, a dominant energy so they typically trust me mm-hmm. with things and I'm like shit that's not that big of a deal people are like well I have this you know I like this I'm like you have this kind of fetish and they're like what? I'm like yeah it's fine <laughs> let's tap into that they don't know why they like it like I have people say shit like you know how people are like well I want to smell your underwear I'm like okay just buy a pair of panties they're like I can do that Literally, yes, they're just on my website. Just click, the link. <laughs> just click the link. Just click the link. So people don't know how to navigate that either. Um, it's a work in progress. Because I'll say that there's not a lot of educational porn. Mm. Yep. As we were so discussing. We were talking about that, yep. too. Yes. As we discussed yeah. last episode. Not a lot of that out there. Um What's we was what's Savage? Mm. Raquel Savage, mm-hmm. she yeah. Has, she has a series out there. And there's there's not a lot other than that that I know of. I mean, Gaia has some videos back in the day that was more ed porn too. Mm. Um Sashada Rose, she's a sex mm. educator. She stays being shadow band, but her shit is fire. Like she's an educator in her life. She's really good. Sashata Rose, S E S H A T A, and then Rose. Um, she's an amazing woman. I did one of her courses back when, 
and I was on her podcast um, before I was Simone, and it was it was really nice. She's good, and she comes up with the curriculum and everything that you need. Uh, like, nice. okay, she's good. Um, her, well, I'm like, I'm else? following her now. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Yeah, definitely. She's she's amazing. Um, and I'm trying to think of other people, but nobody's really coming. Mm. It's, it's just it's um, difficult. It's difficult. Yes. That, that definitely well, well, needs to be. you can go ahead and fill the market then. Nobody wants. So let I me say your ass every day. You do. Fun fact: I used to own a sex store, oh, and I literally go. stopped selling sex toys because nobody knew how to use them, and I didn't have to the teach. capacity to teach in the way that I oh, wanted. Wow. So I have a sex toys galore, which I'm going to end up taking to Exotica and seeing if anybody wants them there. <laughs> but. I wanted to be able to teach people, but I just didn't have the capacity mm-hmm. in that era of my life. I love to teach. I used to be a teacher too. So I'm like, I want to teach you guys how to pleasure yourselves, but I just didn't have the bandwidth in the moment. Plus it's like people wrap so much so. shame and guilt around sex and sexuality as a whole. Like we like to think, oh, it's 2022. Every- no, no. It's We're reverting in listen, an astronomical Listen, rate. so what happens is, one, you got the social anxiety piece of it, but also we never escaped the realm of shame and guilt. So yeah, it was easy to ex- access things. I was having a really hard time with that word, access things on the internet, but the internet is something you also can do in private. in private. It doesn't require you to ask for help, ask for assistance, but when you're actually in front of another person and you have to engage with them, whole different thing. That's why we be clowning so much on social media, especially on Twitter, when people post, I'm trying to have a conversation with this dummy, but they giving me emojis for answer. People don't know how to have a conversation. But also, if your parents never taught you how to communicate and your community call you a pussy for trying to communicate or soft or weak or whatever, how do you learn these skills that allow you to do all these other things? So I know that was a little ranty, but it becomes part of a larger problem when we remove the ability to have like genuine, authentic human interactions with each other, because then we don't get to do the other fun mm-hmm. stuff that it means to exist in the world, like sex and sexuality in a way that feels safe and comfortable. Everybody feels like it just is off limits when in reality, just talk to people. Right. That's like low key how I got started. So my vanilla page before was more holistic and now it's Holistic Phoenix because that's kind of what I've been tapping into forever. But the things that I noticed, mental health and sexual health, nobody was willing to talk about that shit. Mm-hmm. Nobody. So I'm like, I'm not, anybody's kind of accredited, but I do a lot of research and then I just regurgitate mm-hmm. all the things that I learn in a way that people yeah. will receive it. And people are like, well, shit, I didn't know that, that and that. And I'm like, it's all connected, y'all. My- right. We 36, okay. <laughs> well, I'm, no shame in not knowing, but at some point you have to be interested enough because if you've been fucking for 20 years and you don't know nothing about right. sex, it's just like, they out here. at some point, out here. <laughs> you know, you, 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 what? You, you know, you would think that people want to learn more, but sometimes it just has to be presented to where it kind of provokes right. an interest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? So I just, even in my vanilla stories, I post all kinds of crazy ass shit. And people are like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. well, all right. It sounds like phone sex is still alive. It's just in a different yeah. form now. It's evolved. Yeah. It, it kind of like circled back around. Because back in the day, you know, people were like, yeah, we having phone sex. And now people are like, and you, how many people have y'all heard be like, yeah, I was having a phone last night? Oh, well, no, people I was, I was are cool. into it on, it's, uh, it's coming back on Twitter and people talk, are talking about it on Twitter, which is are really they? funny right now. Yeah. 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 But I'm not on. I was talking to a friend the other day and she was talking about um, how she was having, she had the, the best phone sex with her boyfriend. So, I mean, you, you know, know the, the, um, those right. lines still exist. Do oh, they? God. Yeah. yeah, they still exist. <laughs> I swear. Like, you know what? I guess it's gonna <clears throat> Yep. The people who don't internet, they don't know about Sex Panther. They just call wow. it numbers and they don't know. I'm like, it's still there. It's still there. There's still a, a weird, odd, mm-hmm. backwood demographic that still that's likes that's to play with it, it, I guess, because like they need that voice and that whatever, but 
yeah, it's still there. Yeah. Well, God bless him. Really? <laughs> Well, we gonna move on to our fuckery of the episode, and this one—it's not. I, I ain't got much to do with this one. This is the sex product of the episode, and I'm I'm going ahead and turn it on over to y'all because it, it ain't me. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, no so we ordered um, a package from King Hef. Um, yeah. <laughs> Another fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. I didn't even realize that. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, the good dick and the, um, the, the juicy, juicy kitty, I believe it was, the package. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, my wife um, has blood pressure issues, so she wasn't able to. Blood pressure? Nigga, I'm black. I have high blood pressure. <laughs> I take medication, <laughs> and I just can't be taking everything because, you know, sometimes shit be making my blood pressure medication not work. You can tell the truth. Ain't nobody ashamed. <laughs> These niggas never be. Okay, so some of the, the herbs may have, like, an adverse reaction with your medicine. I'm not willing to find out pretty much. It's, oh, okay. That's what it is. Yeah, we had something before. Um, it didn't react well with her. It was it was else. It was something was else. It? And she's just kind of mm-hmm. trepidatious about taking mm-hmm. everything. Hey, SAT words. <laughs> was it a was it a, a natural supplement? It was it was, was it a like- natural supplement. Um we got it from the uh the sex toy store and it was a natural herb it wasn't like one of those like crazy synthetic ones it was a natural herb supplement mm-hmm. and it didn't react well with her she was just got very flush and very hot and, and i'm dizzy. dark as hell y'all so well they do that like i've tried stuff that mm-hmm. and that's why i fuck with hefsta i've tried it and it's like out of body Ooh. it don't feel good yeah and that's what it was you know so it's like mm-hmm. Because I don't even do the edibles and the weeds and stuff like that. So I just try to keep it, it to water. We and all know tea. why that is. That's because you tried to have the floor eat me and I was terrified and you left me. Hold on, hold on. In was my room. Was it shrooms? It's, it's <laughs> you stuff like that? Would, you say that, would you say that someone taking 30 milligrams at one time that has never really Indulge. Oh, now that's a good time, David. That's a good time. That's would a good you, time you right there. I mean, I would advise. Yeah, would not yeah. So she, um, I have a, a friend that um, makes edibles. I always love blaming a victim. And she's, she, you know, a bottle. She sends some bottle of Kool Aid. And I go to, I take a shower. Oh, I go to take a shower, and I say, "Here, sip." I'm gonna take a shower. I come back. And I see her she slamming it. it. Well, it didn't work the first oh, time. I took the sip. I told you, baby. Time. See, that's why I don't like edibles and stuff. I don't. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. Thirty like minutes. Well, give me my jab. Because by the time you feel like, as soon as you say this edible ain't shit, it's body. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've since learned that you got to talk shit about it, then it'll start working. So then I see. That's no, how you I activate the THC. I ain't got no time for that. I I smoke it. I vape it. I'm good. Okay. So, I will make a suggestion. Um, what I do, I just be Googling shit. What herbs not to take with wow. said medication name? And it'll usually give you a list. Like, I know a lot of shit you can't take St. Saint John's work with. And, you know, but I personally have not had any adverse reaction um, with this okay. stuff. And, of course, I represent it. I believe in it. But... Look it up first. We will try again. Well, well, myself personally, that good dick treat. Oh boy, <laughs> hitting. He was slinging it back in. Oh, oh boy. Listen, hold on, because I got mine right here. This one, uh-huh. the little, the juicy uh-huh. fire treats, and then I have the capsules if it's just a chill day and I just need to, you know, take uh-huh. something and run. <laughs> But I'm, I like to eat. 
So I'll warm this up for like seven seconds. Smash oh that shit God. and then run. But yeah, I um because I've tried a few different things from the uh sex store. And even when I tried this one, I was kind of reluctant. I was like, I don't want that shit. Like <laughs> I, I don't wanna I don't I didn't like how I felt on the other stuff. So I read the ingredients because again, right. holistic shit. I'm like, oh well, this doesn't sound too bad, you know. I'm gonna try it. I try it. I put my boy in that. And there's video evidence. That man, he was laying on the back, and I just had my little hold on. I had my little gun. I just kept going. And he was just laying there like a dead body. Mm. It was like I mean, that. Our, I, like, I, God, I see what you're doing for others, and I ask. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to just take it with me next time to my appointment and have my doctor look at it and be like, okay, girl, do what you got to do. Both. I mean, yeah. you know, they don't, you they know, know. Don't, hey, yeah. they never going to be the ones. If you can't, look, if you can't have an honest conversation with your doctor, then we need to, well, we just talked about how people don't know how to communicate, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I, you I have special... a point, and I will do that, and I will try it. But I'm not gonna slam it down. I'm gonna take a bite um, and talk shit first. And then the that's step. That's step two. Okay, activate the herbs. and then it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> okay. So I'll say okay. That's with actual edible edibles. So okay. this one doesn't have any CBD THC, but. I take half of it, and by the time I go take a shower and get out, I feel like mm-hmm. I have a little bit of energy to me. So I get my energy first, oh, okay. and then lust okay. directly okay. after. I'm not mad at that. That's our special guest. Yeah. was a fountain. So, so I have to channel that. But I, our, our special guest say? that night was a fountain, So and she took the uh, the juicy treat. She was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's vicious. <laughs> It's like I don't know. The last live show that I did on my OnlyFans, I had taken half of because uh, you're only supposed to take half of the the treats. I took a half a treat, and when I tell you my mm. whole floor was done, I was sitting here with the with the spray like. Okay. <laughs> it, it does what it's supposed to do. All right. <laughs> I don't know what the mechanics are. I don't ask too many questions on that one. I don't like shit. I'm just ride with it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I heard it here. Oh, amen I mean, to that. that. That good dick treat, I was done, and it was still... Yeah. And I was still walking around. Exactly. <laughs> you just have to with that motherfucker. Like, wait, we have a conversation. Wait. Can we please calm down for a minute? Can we say something tomorrow? I don't, I don't no, I just gave in at that point. I was just like, mm-hmm. it just, it is what it is. I'm just going to be walking <laughs> Like it's it's three thirty in the morning. Uh, I'm tired, but this thing ain't going nowhere. Let's go to sleep. I see you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, save it for later. Put it in the little oh box. my hold god! On. All right. Which, hold on, because shameless plug too. Because mm. I am an ambassador yep. for Hef. So if you guys choose to go back and you want to get yourself something, mm. there you go, y'all. Shameless Go to and use yeah. some for the code. Yes. Because when I tell you, I really, I don't promote shit that I don't believe in. Yeah. Like, mm. I don't even know you like that. I don't no. think so. I don't like that. I don't like that. But good looking out, though. <laughs> I don't like that. Mm, mm, mm. Well, yeah. I would... Oh, wait. Mm. For our okay. next segment, we're going to have a little bit more fun and say... Oh, wait, we've had this before. We're bringing it back. I forgot. Peggers across oh. history. Of course. I forgot about this one. Ooh. So who was pegging <laughs> who back in the day? I've been stewing and brewing on this since I saw it earlier. I, I don't, I ain't gonna I'm trying to, I don't know who. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to yeah. say it. I know who oh, yeah. Jada. Oh, Jada. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> now, 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 wait, now. So, I'm going to take you back just a little bit further since you did this, because we all know that I love the Smiths and I love me some Jada. Everybody need to chill out on her. 
I love me some Jada. She is a little toxic, yeah, but you know, we, are, we can we get are. there another time. <laughs> yes. But now I didn't know, I didn't realize that Pac was a ballet dancer. Yeah. I knew that he was, you know, that mm-hmm. he was into poetry and everything else and everything else. So he was a little soft nigga on the inside too, which we love that for him. And everybody thinks that like, you know, he was the rough neck for her, but she always kept him in check. Was she digging his guts in too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a, like, I could, I could see it. Now that I see the things that I've seen, I could At a see minimum. It. At a minimum, you know she was holding them legs <laughs> yeah. back then. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. So, hmm. so, so, cool thing so, to do. You, so you inspired me. I'm going I'm to say Jada was was digging out Tupac, too. Mm-hmm. Jada is yeah. a top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. a top. Big top. Like mm-hmm. the circus. Big I top. I feel like, so wait. Like but if also, got we, big everybody energy. forgets that her and MC Light are like almost best friends too. Are they? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They like they like best. Like best MC best Light lived lived at, at Will and Jada's house for a few months when she, her house was getting um, renovated, and her boyfriend or fiance, who was now her husband, was like out of the country, and so she was just living with them. And this is before August. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that I've learned about yes. celebrities, they be yes. freaky as hell and fluid as hell. So, yes. congratulations, <laughs> Odell. Call me. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I didn't heard some things about uh, that man. I'm like, good I mean, for I you. Don't, I don't do that one last one, but you know, we can find somebody for you, no problem. <laughs> that one we know what we mm-hmm. I was talking to somebody about that and he was like I don't care what nobody say all bitches eat ass I was like who said we didn't people say on Twitter that they don't but so, I know for a fact that they do so this <laughs> energy is aligning too hard because I was thinking about how those things were happening back in the day for me what before was a cool thing too still and I was just like this ain't new. Yep. Ain't nothing new about it. Just who you doing it with? Nothing new under the sun. Okay. I ain't gonna hold you. So I used to have an ex girlfriend. We was young, <laughs> and she was like, "What?" I was like, "Yeah, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never had nothing like that, huh? And this is a good. I didn't I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just like, shit, what's that like? And then she leaned into it. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, Fucking with it? is Odell a top or a bottom? I don't know. I think he's a bottom. He's verse. I feel like I he's, feel very, like he's verse. very much a bottom. Mm. I feel like he's Drake's top, though. I'll, I'll stand mm. on that one. Now, oh, now Drake oh, gives oh, verse. Oh, like he oh, wants to be dominant so bad. Yes, yes, oh yeah. And it's just not there. Because you know you can look at him a certain way. Like, Fuck that. He gonna I'm, mm, but he also is like the break. You ain't gonna tell me what to do. I mean, I'm gonna sit down, but you ain't gotta say it like. He is gonna brat up. He's literally gonna like, who the fuck you talking about? Like, 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 like that. Like, why you? Home. Like I mean, Drake I, is yes. a brat. He does get brat. Oh no, y'all! Tell me you don't see it. Tell me you don't I, see it. I, I hey, I, I, I see, see it. Brat. I don't see what that, that he, he is. Oh, brat. I did. I never thought about it before. He would sit there. Ooh. He would pout about it. He would mumble and talk under his. He gonna do it, but he gonna mumble and talk under his breath about. It. And then get it. He gonna, he gonna do, 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 do. <laughs> Ever, you know what I mean? Like it's hey, and honestly, live your life. Do you? I feel like he's probably one of those people you could talk to a certain way. Like he throw a little fist, like so you don't want me to eat your oh, ass. He's like, mm. All right. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's what I thought. You could, I feel like you could talk to him a certain way. Yeah, he's gonna eat it up. Yeah, but again, he's gonna talk he has a little shit. 
I said he's the a fact brat. that I talk to them all yeah. that way is kind of telling. I just thought about yeah. that, but anyways, nothing like you. <laughs> 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 all right, move on Smoke to my mirror. Um, so okay. I so I have um, I think it's not really a historical figure, but I think Zendaya be bending a little time over. Oh, Zendaya is everything. Oh. Oh. You mean just oh. absolutely everybody, oh. absolutely everybody, everybody. Oh. Let me tell you something. Everybody. Mama's Mama's been serving BD. He knew why it didn't work out with her and Drake because he too much of a little B for her. Like I can't deal with all the emotions and all this other stuff. Just do what you got to do and move on. But come on now, you know she be topping it. Oh yeah, <laughs> Tom's oh, little yeah. spoon. Uh huh. Mm. Your big ass will be her little spoon too. Don't be laughing. Grab, grab the leg and bring it over a little spoon, too. I said that on my... Now and then, you are a little bit. Have you seen the, the way she, like, she grabs him behind her sometimes? I'm like, I mean, that, that is a grown man. Okay. Man, <laughs> that's woman. What you heard? She said, okay. <laughs> She's so not, I love that this is Pegas Across History 2020's see. edition. <laughs> Okay, wait. Did you guys see that picture of Johnny <laughs> Kennedy and his friend floating yeah. on Twitter? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. He was getting up a blue wind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know somebody had to get rid of him. She was doing too much and knew too much. Oh. Mm. All right. My person. But I think we did this person already. What they go ahead say it. Angela and Courtney. Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. No, uh, y'all. Yeah, according to that. I didn't know she had a man. Yeah, they've been I married. I didn't know she was a man. He be in the screen. They don't like be having no, they show, up to, they show up to shows together, but they, you know, they just be chilling. They quiet. Mm-mm. I never had not a single that. thing. And I love him as an actor, too. Like, he's a dope actor. Mm-hmm. He's had some amazing roles out here in these streets. But I see it for him. Courtney and Angelus. Mm. Mm. Angela Bassett. Bassett by Bassett. <laughs> mm. There you go, folks. Packers Across History mm. 2020's edition. <laughs> 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 and now we just going to turn over into you, the meat, the potatoes, the full thing, all the way to the dessert. Okay. Listen, mm. real hearty, mm. healthy, make you feel good. Okay, <laughs> all over Stephanie Mill. Dang, mm. I, want power. Yeah, I say you, you in the right spot, cause <laughs> 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 we some, we some fat fucks around here. Right? <laughs> Listen, we didn't talk about it. I'm gonna go downstairs. I just had to put it on the on the Alexa so that she knew to add it to the grocery list for Saturday, cause y'all got. <laughs> Probably worse. As long as we're not talking about talking about turkey sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, that's you know what? I mean, no, turkey sandwich. Every episode, somebody. I want a turkey sandwich. Then when when was that, tur- well, get that turkey? Get that turkey. I had a turkey. I had a turkey sub before we started. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I have gang, 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 gang. Welcome gang, to gang. the family. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> this is like okay. Okay. knew what it was okay. doing when it got discovered. Look, Look, that's dude. why it's all slow and fat because it just knew mm. just give up, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. You can't fly for a reason. You hit for a reason. Thank you for your service. This is the real MVP. <laughs> But not a performance model. Sit your ass down somewhere. Oh, well, this is the perfect place to start. Mm-hmm. All about you, okay? Because you be you be chefing it up on in the IG kitchen. So, what's your favorite meal to cook? Okay, so I personally don't have a favorite, but my most mm-hmm. requested is always salmon. Anytime anybody mm-hmm. asks me to cook, they want me to make them salmon. Uh, and, okay. Okay, so I do it different ways. Um, I had one a few years ago. It did some numbers. I had did uh, a brown Niggas, butter and honey salmon, okay. and it was pan seared. Well, we're gonna have to talk after this. 
<laughs> yeah. It was fire. And then I put the recipe out so people could make it. And I still be getting sent that shit. I'm like, <laughs> fuck I'm okay. like wait, did Thank I fuck you. around and make um, your bar butter sandwich? I mean, you see what I like because I've made that. That has. What I, I don't know if it's your recipe or not, but I've been making that for for some time now, and that has. It is a panty dropper. Number one, yeah. it is great, and it. Boom! You add a little bit just, of just spice a, to touch, it, and, it's, and you're good. I'm telling you. Mm. Just saying. Okay. So that's my most requested. Um, mm. I have been cooking since I was seven, and cooking for family mm. since I was 13. So I I love cooking. I love feeding people. So cooking for myself, I'm going to do it because I have to. And then I'll eat and I'm like, you bad bitch. And then I'm like, okay. I appreciate you myself now, but like I didn't used to like to cook for myself. I like feeding mm. people. So now I cook for myself. Um, and I enjoy it. Um, I make mm. a fire ass like Alfredo from scratch. That used to do numbers too because I gave people my recipe for that. Um, to the point to where, like, someone that I dated about a decade ago, what? he's still bringing what? it up. I made him that play in 2015. Mm. Like, I ain't had no Alfredo like yours since. <laughs> you can just ask for some Alfredo. It's not that I got the <laughs> You hungry? But, but stop. You give them the recipe. Okay. It don't know. Like, it's the love that uh, you put into it. It's that extra oomph of, of you that you put into it. That they That's what they taste it. I'm telling you. I know it. Mm. Exactly, exactly. Because I can give, and that's the same thing with anything. Like I can give you the right. recipe of how I do shit, but it ain't gonna hit like mine is. You, you it's don't me. do it like I. It's do. mine. Des is hitting. Des been over there staring. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'm just like, like <laughs> what you? I mean, I'm like, like kicking in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I hate myself sometimes. Go ahead, well, ask the next damn question. <laughs> which meal, which food makes you food dance the hardest? What gets that? Oh, I'm internally. I'm so okay. Food is my king. Food is my vice. So if I don't mm-hmm. dance when I eat something, it's not good. Like, I literally was eating. I posted on my vanilla page the other day. I'm eating some fried fish. I'm <laughs> full on twerking while I'm eating the fish. It means that way. It means that way. Like, this is just. What is my favorite, though? Okay, so anything that has pesto, <laughs> um, that's going to make me move. Lose each other. Pesto <laughs> is that girl. <laughs> There's love. There's <laughs> love. There's love. love, me so well. love anything. I literally had a chicken pesto flatbread for lunch yesterday. Like I love, I got a big ass thing of pesto outside in the damn refrigerator right now. Like me and pesto are just don't start that woman. Okay, (laughs) she she hates pesto for whatever odd reason. It's like this weird thing where pesto just don't work out. <laughs> and I love nuts. I'm like, I, I don't know. Know. you know what it is? Uh, is it the actual pine nut part? That it pine might be. Really? Yeah, it's barely there. Uh, but you can't taste, taste the pine nut really. It'd be in. It'd be like mm, for. Mm. Are you? Uh, yeah. Okay, so your she taste buds just arranged different. Yeah. Okay, so look, I know you don't like pesto, but the other day I did some um, air fried potatoes mm-hmm. and I did pesto and parmesan on top of them mm. with some salmon. And then I did like squash, zucchini, eggplant, and then like peppers. Like, mm. <laughs> <sighs> no, hey, hey, no. Hey, uh, <laughs> no, I love. I, uh, I'm saying, and then now I'm real hungry, and then I can't cook right now because my my kitchen is is being re- it's. It must be I'm nice. struggle busting it. I'm struggle busting. What? You must be so wealthy and be able to just redo your kitchen. The straw. Madam, What's that don't like? do this. We're not. We're not playing that like, game. We're not playing that, that game. Like? We're not playing that game. Because this ain't even my house. I this ain't love even my can't. house. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like? No better. I love you. Can't you don't have a you don't have a dog in that fight anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you Thank you, William. Dog. Thank you, William. Get you. Get her. 
You don't have a dog in the fight anymore. You don't have you a dog. You mean the person that, that had time forward paint back? I didn't even know that was a thing. Again, Did you know that time forward man? Parents and Ralph Lauren. Don't get that ain't me. What? Okay. <laughs> don't do that. You don't hey, have whatever. a dog in the fight anymore. I'm sorry, my love. Is what it is. What it is. Thank you, Will. Thank you. It is what it is. Let the you truth. Gotta, you got to let the eat truth those be now. spoken. I'm sorry. You got to eat those from now on. I'm sorry, my love. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I ain't gonna put your business out there, you know. <clears throat> Doctor Ellis Nelson, but you know. Doctor ain't give me shit, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Hey, did we get your answer? We 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 got we drifted off on pesto. I'm sorry, so wait, so what? So what makes you food dance the hardest? Mm, mm, mm. Um. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like any good food, I dance like to the point to where mm. I'll start eating. Waiting for if I'm it. with my family, my auntie do this. <laughs> she just wait for me to take a bite to do the dance. Damn. If I don't do the dance, it's not here. Mm. If I don't do the dance, it's not here. I, you know what? I, I respect food. it because food so is I'm serious. Dance, like, like I, why would I waste my time with mediocre things? Listen, it's very serious. You're not supposed to. I don't play about it. Now I might have a <laughs> mediocre nigga every every now and then. But some mediocre food, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do <laughs> That's it. How you do it. <laughs> That's how you know she's serious. Like I have a mediocre nigga every now and then, but not my food. Listen, <laughs> levels to this. Wow. That's that's my hard limit. Hard. That's my hard limit. Mm. <laughs> that's why I don't let them cook for me. Last couple of people I had cooked, well, not last couple, but like I've had people cook wow. for me before. I'm like, so no. if you hate me, just say that. No. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's been this. So, people, that's if you are uh, cooking for this guy, you better bring it. Or you got just to, don't want to embarrass hey, yourself after you, you got some will. good because you will get chopped. Okay. <laughs> Straight up. I, mean, I am not as kind as I used to be. Because I used to just throw the plate away and go about my business. Oh, no. See, now I got to tell you about this stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> time. Mm-hmm. Now I got to let you know. Because why the fuck you going to feed me something like this? <laughs> uh, you better taste test and have somebody else taste mm-hmm. test and... Mm-hmm. I don't play about it. So, <laughs> so since, since we're in the not kind moment, and I want to go back just slightly to you saying that you uh, about the FaceTime like videos and stuff. Like, what's the craziest gift that you've ever gotten from a fan? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit! I don't know. Okay, so like. Crazy on the end of like, damn, people really are doing shit like this. I've gotten a few bands from people like, you really just gonna, I ain't never seen you met you nothing like that. Okay. Excuse me. But then I also got an mm-hmm. 11 inch dildo that's like the size of my mm-hmm. forearm. That's too much. That's too much. And I did not know. Cause, okay, so hear me out. You be, you know, dealing with people and they be like, yeah, it's like nine inches, it's like 10 inches. I'm like, okay, that's not bad. Put it in my Amazon cart. Mm-hmm. It said 10.6. I was like, oh, shit. Right. I got that shit, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> where's that going to go? I ain't that flexible, for real. Like, it's literally, mm-hmm. like, the size of my forearm. And that's not crazy or anything. The the I was, was just going to say, crazy. it probably weighs Because like it's just a dildo. The, uh, yeah, like, you slap, and it's like, Doof. like... Leela, we got we I got, got one of your, tunnel and shit. I'm like, yeah, I am like Atlanta for his birthday. True story. I think oh, I'll dig up the pictures. Huh? As a, it was a gift. Oh, it was a gift. Ask him huh. about it. First of all, I've learned way more about y'all and y'all's right. families in the last couple of days. I'm gonna take a little break from asking more questions in the group. But- I told you don't you the one that was your fault. You did it. She's like, you know what? Let's just say you. it's a whole thing. It's stressful. They're stressful. I don't know. I don't know. She's it's stressful. I told her. I told her not to ask. She still did. And here we go. And she then she learned the hard way. Exactly. See, you can't want to know too much. But they, gonna but they said the most vague. Much, you can't unknow it. You can't unsee it. It was too much. That's your friend. That's your friend when I said no. but You just got to let shit rise. Your turn. I ain't got nothing. No. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm 
See, now I'm stressed out and I want to ask him about it, but I don't want to ask him about it. Let me <laughs> I get my brain on something else. Okay, so what made you start More Health Wellness? Okay, mm-hmm. when... So I left the military and I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. My skin looked like shit. And I've always been fairly natural so instead of going and just buying things and trying things i was like i'm bored i'm gonna make some soap and i'm gonna make some body butter so i did it and i made too much i got on facebook i was like hey i made this stuff does anybody want it Mm -hmm. and then my business Mm -hmm. accidentally started like because i wasn't even trying to do a business i'm like does anybody you know i made too much and it just kind of took off. Mm-hmm. So like I said, I have a background in health and wellness. When I promoted like these like healthy organic products, everybody was like, right, hey, right. I trust you with that shit. Give it here. And like when I tell you my first products were ass, I'm like, mm-hmm. where I am now is not where I used to be. <laughs> I'm not, I don't look like what I came from. But people liked it back then. And mm-hmm. I don't know if they liked it because they liked it or they liked it because mm-hmm. it was me. It took off, and I'm like, oh. never would I have thought while I was in undergrad, right? Would I be but making so for a living? Right. But it, yeah, it right. is one of those things. You know how you accidentally end up in something like that you could have never fathomed, and it's like, okay, well, this is my purpose <laughs> to be here. Damn, you like real on. life live here, don't you? <laughs> mm. That's weird. <laughs> I had to Not throw, throw my first away. So. But honestly, that's where like a lot of people, whenever I ask them, like, well, how did you get started doing it? It's always it's never that, oh, well, I went to school and I studied for 20 years. It was like, no, I had to think about something that was meaningful for me that I needed in the moment. And I just could not find that shit in the market or I couldn't find anybody else doing what I needed specifically. So I made it and I made it work. That'd be the shit that I'm like, that's the stuff I want to try. Mm. That's right there. Exactly. Because it's like... I, if anything, yeah. I trust that you wouldn't make anything that you wouldn't put on your own skin. Right. So therefore, there's like more trust in it for me. And that's literally what it right. came from. You mm-hmm. starting your email yeah, pretty right. much from yourself. Mm-hmm. And it was hitting it was hitting in. So obviously it's gonna continue mm-hmm. to hit. So they just said, All right, well, here we go, girl. Like, let's mm-hmm. do this. Mm-hmm. And- I don't know if you guys ever have seen any of my jars mm. or my labels, but my first ingredient is always <laughs> like, not FDA regulated, but <laughs> that's one of my, uh, that's been one of my things from the start, because if I'm in a like fucked up mood or anything, like sometimes creating will help me feel better, but I don't want to just go in with negative energy. Like I put a lot of love into my stuff. So people, my clients be trying to bully me into coming back year round. And I'm like, Hey, yo, I don't want to put this stuff in the lab. If it's going to be made, I want to make it myself or have a team right. of people who can help me with good intentions. Mm. Cause I used to have assistants and I had three assistants at one point and they were like, now how the fuck was you doing this by yourself? I'm like, I don't know. But they were, you know, like I had a couple of solid assistants and mm. they, that was some of the best months that I had. Yeah, but they were well intended and they cared about me. They cared about the business, exactly. And they wasn't mm-hmm. on no bullshit with it. So I'm like, how it started again? Like it literally started because mm-hmm. I was like, I hate my skin and I'm pregnant and I need mm-hmm. something. And I was like, oh, this is fire. Okay, cool. And then it just kept improving from then because now I can go on a hiatus. I haven't worked like that. I, I really stopped in like 2019 <laughs> and they bullied me every few months to come I, I back. I'd be like, damn. Like, I miss it every time you like, come back. Maybe, I'm like, damn. Miss, I miss it. I uh, really get so, damn. If you like here, then it's gone. <laughs> and then it's gone. Yeah. They get in. And what I do now, I have um, mm-hmm. after pay on, uh, on my website. So everybody comes in, they stocks up, they nice clean shit afterburn. out immediately. And mm. then after it's cleaned out, I just kind of go back in a hole. But I'm getting bullied as we speak on Twitter. <laughs> People be like, I need some soap. Uh, 
What a soap. What a soap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And it, I had said something. Um, I had tweeted like exfoliating gloves. And I knew better. I knew better. Yeah. Exfoliating gloves with body butter and body oil. So you got some soap to go along <laughs> with it. Okay. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. No, I'm come okay. Back. okay. Okay. I got y'all. I'm gonna come back. Okay. Dope, man. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it's crack. It's crack. Mm. Go ahead, Will. You got the All right. yeah. Sure. Uh, what societal societal norm do you hate the most? Like dress codes, listening to music, too loud, being on time for work. What do you What do you wish you could just do away with? Like people would stop doing that shit. Oh mm-hmm. hell! Mm-hmm. People trying to regulate <laughs> women's bodies. I'm so sick of shit. I'm Damn. like, how are y'all they making even laws telling me what I can do and what I can't do? Like that's insane. Is that it's not insane? Norm. And that's so and it's just normal crazy people, that like, that's where a they can norm. Damn. Have you met that's insane? Like, I was out in um Sam's earlier and I had on some Hoochie Daddy shorts and a, a like tank top that was kind of like it looked like a bra almost, but it was a little bit longer. And the looks that I got. I'm like, my own shit. Like, I ain't bothering nobody. I ain't harming nobody. Like, but so many people want women to be a certain thing. And the thing is, never. we've never been there. Like, women always try to fit into the box that society gives. Men don't. Mm-hmm. They don't have to. People always want to regulate how women operate. And I don't. Like, that's insane to me. Like, how are you going to tell me what I can mm-hmm. and can't do and how I should and shouldn't feel? Like, I don't know if y'all saw that video. This dude, he went up to the women who had the little mm. picket signs who were talking about choose adoption. And he was like, okay, how many kids have you adopted? None. You? None. You? I have my own kids. You? So he's like, so none of you guys have adopted kids, but you guys are trying to force women to right. carry the term and then put them up for adoption? Right. And they were like, well, like it's the message. message. It's like, girl, shut okay. the fuck right. up. We don't need your message. <laughs> we don't need it. Okay. You can't tell somebody what to do with their bodies. So how we think, how we operate. Oh. I don't know if y'all saw the uproar in femininity coaches on TikTok. Uh, like if you're in a section, you need to like, sit and be Which video are you talking X. about, too? I'm like, baby, oh, I'm in a club. In a little follow-up video. Well, I don't even go. Like, what, what are you I'm even saying? doing That's here? Why would you go to the club? If you don't want to have this fun. This is not a revival. What is happening? Bitch, we not at a tea party. Ugh. Go home. <laughs> Bitches want to sit pinky up with Duce in a cup. Girl, get the fuck about here. Go home. Not, they're not a tea party. Vagina regulating, <laughs> making regulations. <laughs> for like, none of y'all even have a vagina. And y'all the ones making laws, whole laws. Don't even know how. No. What a, don't even know how a vagina works with trying to regulate it. That's like, mind your own. Lord. No, honestly, so I went, um, so I have two children and I have, mm. I'm still dealing with having two children. Mm. Like my body, if I get pregnant again, I could probably die. So I'm talking to my doctor and I'm like, okay, I want to get a, a full hysterectomy because how I'm living is not a good quality of life. Like I have PCOS, mm. I'm passing out, I'm throwing up, mm. right. like all of this. I'm like, I'm 20 something and that shouldn't be a thing. And she was like, no. I was like, bitch, what you mean, no? I'm literally telling you. I know. Right. Well, I'm asking you to remove like, the hardware and the software so that. That's causing me the issue. So they put me on like 30 fucking thousand different kinds of birth control, which caused even more adverse reactions that I had to recover from. And I'm like, okay, well, hear me out. You. you keep trying to right. the mask the issues when you could just take it out and that'll be the solution. And they were like, well, you're not 35. I'm still legally married. And I'm like, so right. did you live in a state I can't where you fathom how you're telling me I can't do what I want to do. Mm. Um, so at the time we were separated. I don't know if it was that, but they told me that the wow. insurance would definitely not cover it. So I'm like, if I'm throwing up and passing out, 
<laughs> like monthly. No, it's and I'm real. like, at the time, I mean, this is gruesome. I'm sorry right. for whoever's watching, but I would bleed for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I'm like, I don't even want to live. Like, that's so much to bleed for weeks on end to where I can't get out mm. of bed. And then I do get out of bed and I'm literally like falling out. Right. And they're like, well, you just kind of got to deal with it because we don't approve you getting your uterus right. out. I'm like, why the fuck you got to approve it? All you got to do is do the surgery. It's not for you to right. understand or give your, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that is my biggest issue. People trying to regulate women's bodies. Trying to regulate in women minds, in general. In <laughs> dressing and women, period. Just women. Mm-hmm. Regulating women hey. is my issue. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that's, I'm like, that's a, Nope. Man, this shit, well, there's life. Shit, life. They got deep real quick, <laughs> but that mm-hmm. Well, okay. we go. I'm gonna flip it over to something a little more mm-hmm. lighter. Whenever okay. we have a guest, we love to ask them: okay. If your pussy was a plant, what type of plant would it be? Hmm. It's giving money. Jing, Jing, Jing goes the money tree. It attracts <laughs> abundance and wealth. You know, it's not. I mean, honestly, it's not too high maintenance. Like for me, I can I can go as long as I need to go. Like you know, money plants. You don't have to water them too much. So like in my real life, I don't really be having sex like that. I'm fine. I'll be doing what I got to do with myself, and then I kind of go for like months on end, and I'm just like. Mm. But I'll say. <laughs> That money tree do what it needs to do. <laughs> you love on the right is gonna give you it. everything. You know what's you know what's interesting. <laughs> or aloe. What's very interesting when we asked uh, Hef that question, he said money tree. <laughs> Did I forgot about that? Did that's funny. <laughs> that's my man. That's my man. I know that's why. <laughs> Uh, uh, I love it. Right. I love it. Right. <laughs> right. So, out of all of your tattoos, which one is your favorite? Mm. Okay. So, my sleeve is becoming one piece, but on my arm, it's kind of mm. ashy. It needs to touch up. But I have Oshun on my arm. Um. And I feel like even before getting her, I didn't realize the depths of it. But as I grow, I feel like I embody what she Mm. stands for even more so. Um, As I'm growing into myself, I'm like, I don't know if I open myself into this, like accepting this deity when I got the tattoo. But we're we're getting there. Um, As far as like aesthetic and artwork, I have a Sankofa bird. Let me see. Um, and Sankofa means to go back and fetch it. So sometimes you have to take um, mm-hmm. experiences and lessons from your past to move forward. And that's kind of a revolving thing mm-hmm. with my life. Like, you know, so aesthetically, mm-hmm. I love my Sankofa. How many Spiritually, do you have? I love Oshun. <laughs> that's all I'm like, shit. <laughs> um, let's see, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. <laughs> I think I have 12. I think I have 12. Mm. No, 13. Because <laughs> I got this one too. 13. 14. <laughs> 14, final answer. Yeah, so 14. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I love tattoos. I love how they feel. And then the tattoos that I get, I typically mm-hmm. kind of, I still remember on them for a couple of years before I do it. The last few tattoos that I've gotten have been um, mm-hmm. a test for me because I am a Capricorn. I'm not super spontaneous. I like to plan. I like things mm-hmm. strategic. I like things a certain way. But I tested myself. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I want the feeling of a tattoo. Go get a tattoo. And then it kind of panned out to where my homegirl, she does tattoos. She had posted something. And I was like, that one, mm. I want it. She's like, okay, just come over on Tuesday. I'm like, bet. Mm. 
this one on my hand it says prosper and it has like the money sign in it so everything i touch turns to gold oh. but i didn't think nothing about this before maybe I got it's it. just the universe speaking i just to saw you. it and i was like oh, that's <laughs> right. the one that i want perfection and then mm-hmm. i like that exactly exactly so i trusted myself enough to be spontaneous <laughs> and then i was presented with this and i'm like well you made that real easy hey that's pretty um, and this one my chest piece was real spontaneous too I had thought about it for a while. And I was like, no, I don't know. you know, I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> so then I saw another one. I was like, you got any availability for? Um... <laughs> I need it. I know. When it I tell you this bitch the, is spicy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, because there's not a. Oh okay. Yeah. I can figure out. Right. I want my first tattoo, but they're like, you know, there's no flat. I'm like, well, right it's there. obviously probably gonna hurt, but it probably hurts more if it's hitting more bone area than like. Like I eat over here, so it ain't gonna really do much. Mm-hmm. Listen, so I'll say that my worst tattoo is to date. The one on my worst. foot is like mm. a few letters. Worst shit of my life. Worst shit of my life. He started, and I told him, "I'm like, I will pay you full <laughs> price if you stop. Turn it into a heart or something." And he's like, "No, I'm gonna finish it." And I'm like, "You don't understand." <laughs> I will give you full price if you don't. He was like, no, you gotta send the way. 10 15 minutes. I was like, did you just call me pussy? <laughs> so I, I, I ate it. Mm. Um, I stormed so, out of there. Yeah. And folks be getting them on their head was, too, yeah, like on their hurt. scalp. And, um, like, that was, yeah, no. And honestly, I haven't. I haven't heard too numbing. bad about the scalp, but then also people that use numbing cream. That so I don't typically use numbing cream. I just eat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't typically use it. Like, I can just get on my sleeve, I didn't have any numbing cream on my sleeve. Ooh, use a shirt. Yeah, you still going to feel something. Especially with that big honking tattoo you want. You still going to feel mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. You want a big boy? Okay, man. Oh. oh, she has a show jaw. She hit. She didn't show. I want to look like hair. someone. I want it to be the whole arm part, like that whole from what's it called? Show jaw. No, no, no. It's yeah. it's yeah, it's not oh. the it's the whole arm part. You it's the coloring work. and everything. Oh, oh it is about it's to be it's the best. Well, you do it all at once, right? Like you do the outline first, and then it's like a coloring yeah, book. You go back in, shit. and they'd be like, "Oh, okay, we're gonna do some red today," like that type of. Stuff. Nah, that's okay. <laughs> they typically go back while you're still sitting there, though. <laughs> She's like, no, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this mm-hmm. one, I got done all in one. It's my Kofa with the coloring. Mm-hmm. Um, My rose, I have a concrete rose I'm missing color on. And I have How long his hand it? holding the apple and a snake, which I don't have all my color. Huh? But we ran out of time. See? <laughs> oh, no. oh, wait, no, I have 15. Just Ooh. kidding. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> I love it. He's like, wait. Damn, my bad. That's fine. I'm one day I'm gonna come back in. It's gonna be all tatted up. I'm gonna play that song. What was that? Oh okay. yeah. For real, tatted up. Y'all go. Tatted up. Tatted up. Tatted up. Throw it up. You gotta do this. Okay. <laughs> all that. Gotta way. take it back to undergrad real quick. Uh, uh, uh. Go ahead, right, William. Well. Something like. All right. So, uh, the only fan post where you read the magic. Will we be getting any more of those readings? Because yeah. chef's kiss. Okay. So, that was, I liked it, but it didn't really get the response that I expected it to. I think people, in, it's one of those things that people enjoy, but in secret. So, mm-hmm. like, the likes on it. Like the the feedback in the likes was really good, right. but I had like one or two people comment. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it anyway because that's what I like to do. So yes, um, because right. if I don't want to do it, I just don't do it. If I do want to do it, somebody gonna like it. But yeah, I I love to read, mm-hmm. and then I was told that I have mm-hmm. a, Desmond a nice voice. So I was like, okay, leave him alone. I didn't, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't was agree. Did, I ain't gonna stop. <laughs> yeah. 
the way you agree. What you what, he started kicking his little feet again. <laughs> no, I, I did. I was just sitting there like. No, because he was like, "Then you were doing little feet." <laughs> Oh, <laughs> look at your little face. Are they crossing <laughs> to the table? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I want to go back because honestly, um, after I read that, I started moving and shaking, and life got really hectic. So I haven't even picked it up since I read it last to you guys. Like my not... my bookmark is still there. Oh yeah. So I can literally pick Damn, up on the next yeah, chapter. I do it again. You guys are inspiring me. And you got to do the loaf of bread. So now I got to smash a cake and read a book. No. And the loaf yeah. of bread. I feel like if I could just stuff bread in my yeah. mouth, people would lose their minds. Mm. Like mm. the mug bangs, that. That's really what I want to do. It's something for you and something for the, for the Yeah. Okay. So. Because you love yourself some food too. And then Look at exactly. all too yourself. It could be a whole thing instead of ordering. Dude. So that's what I used to do. Uh huh. I have a trick. There's two fetishes that a lot of people have and they don't realize that they have foot fetish and oral fixation. So when I used to go live on Instagram or when I go live, I eat and people are like, what the fuck? Like, damn, what you eat? Mm. Yeah, you don't know that you don't know that you like it or why you like it, but you're engaged. I used to go and eat uh, crab legs on live, and mm. the reactions were like they weren't horny reactions. People were just really intrigued, right? And like I like watching <laughs> you. Know, hey. Okay, well, buy me lunch. Uh, you, can, you can you can blur this out later or whatever, but I just want to show y'all. Do y'all see what that says? Huh? It says oral fixation. Yeah, that's yeah. that's my uh-uh, that's on my profile. Oral fixation. Tell me what your name is in my phone. No, that's right. Oh, we on point with no, it. No, fuck off. No, no, I forgot about that. No. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I've been blowing up my spot. It's her. It's her. All night. This is abuse. <laughs> this is abuse. She abuses me on Twitter. I mean, I guess. That's all right. <laughs> but she wouldn't do it if she didn't love you. It's it's backwards. So. <laughs> it's backwards. Can you see? It's no, whatever it's we backwards. gotta tell ourselves. And now I gotta blur that out anyway because it's got his number on there. I don't want. To <laughs> oh God! See that rudeness. DJ swallows. Bam, bam. Mm, 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 mm. I completely forgot about that. You are rude as hell. Just no, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> That's all right. You know what? Where are the child's address and phone number? Please. Hey, you know, we don't need his stalker seeing this episode. Oh, Why would you bring that up? Because it's for life. <laughs> okay, now it's... So now he's going to get a... Mm-hmm. It's now he's gonna get a bunch of email. I mean, little what Everybody are they called? Yeah, Tinder? No. What's it called? No, it's that's on no, that's not even on that's on meet me. Jack or Bob. That man ahead, Leela. We not now he now he really is gonna message me. Jeez. We, we want to end it also on a good note and a high note. So <laughs> give yourself a compliment. Oh, no, it's just no, you. It's you. Give, um, I gotta go first. Mm-hmm. I see the fear in your it's eyes. It's just like, ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yes, yes, yes. As a Capricorn, you see, I'm sorry, I'm marking this shit. I'm sweating this shit. Okay, because like I just started affirming myself, so it's still very new for me. Um, because words mm-hmm. of affirmation used to do fucking nothing for me, and now I've just started affirming myself. <laughs> well, it's good I sent you that merch. You're getting one of the first. Give yourself okay. a couple um, shirts. Sure oh, I know that's right. Like, oh, wearing that, I was going to be amazing. Because people, I feel like mm-hmm. if people were nicer to themselves and like themselves, we wouldn't have a lot of the issues that we have. Okay, so I, ooh, I'm proud of myself for being mm-hmm. as resilient as I have, even though I did not want to be resilient, but I'm killing mm-hmm. shit right now. And when mm-hmm. I tell you I'm abundantly blessed, I ain't not bullshitting. And yes! I'm- <laughs> yes! <laughs> 
We love that for you. Yes. That's how you win the episode. In the moment. That, like, that's a great moment. And I just, like, Ooh. I wish I could hug you because little, I know that panic. At, like, I know it. And I saw it over here and I was just like, oh, Lord, I feel it. Yeah. What is it about us? Uh, Why can't we? I'm what like, as much as we worked and we did, like, we, oh, you want me to continue to drag you? No, no, listen. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I feel like okay so I was talking to somebody about that like we're so mm-hmm. straightforward but I feel like with the people that I love it's seamless like I can exactly. people come to me like my homegirl if she wants to get hyped up I know that's her love language and I know how to do it mm-hmm. but I feel like because we are mechanical in a sense mm-hmm. if you say that you like this then I'm just gonna give you this and it's gonna be that but a lot of people don't think like that because mm-hmm. like a lot of people don't get loved in their love languages and then with us I feel like, I don't know about you, but my love language is acts of service. And I'm just now learning how to accept gifts and get words of affirmation like and all that. So I'm kind of tapping like into everything. But I'm like, it's yeah, still kind doesn't. of fresh. Mm-hmm. I can give it all day. Mm-hmm. I, I can give it, but actually receiving all of it is just like, because I'm so like, I'm just not kind of like, Blossoming into a human Dread being because I'm I have oh. been like oh my whole life. <laughs> and it wasn't well, I love that for you. So. <laughs> Shut up, Layla. I love that for you though. <laughs> All right, Miss Guy. We want to tell the people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta tell the people. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Where the- Oh, yes. On Twitter and Instagram at Simone Sky. On Instagram, there is an underscore at the end. You can find me on OnlyFans, Simone Sky, or Simone Sky Free. You are not going to get all the things that you want to get on that free page, but go ahead and come in there and fuck with me anyway. And then um, my all my links and all of my bios has uh-huh. other okay. um, links that you can tap into, including my cash app. Hello. That's where you can find me. We like if you want a response, but we love the stuff that follows. Cash app is the best way to get a response. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a thing. Hello. I know mean, your ass is going to do <laughs> Well, we want to thank you so much for stopping over in our little corner of the world and showing us all the love because you are so amazing. We have been following you for some time and we are so happy that you were able to mm-hmm. come on and, you know, kick it with us for a little bit. Thank you. Of course, of course, of course. I appreciate you guys. Yes. I do. This All our fun. social medias, and I'm don't forget to yeah. look into <laughs> a group called Obsidian, fighting for sexual health rights out here in the world. Mm-hmm. We out here. All right, y'all. Until next time, we will see you later. Bye, y'all. Dang it. Is... Can I just press pause? No. Or press pause? No, press pause. I'm here. <laughs>